So my lab is interested in understanding tissue regeneration. We want to understand how it is possible to regenerate tissues after major damage in a scar free manner and for this we use different model organisms. One of my favorite animals is the African spiny mouse which lives um, in Africa in the desert and uh, it has very special regenerative ability. So for example its natural enemy is a snake and when the snake captures the spiny mouse on the back skin and then the spiny mouse tries to escape and the, the skin comes off and the normal mouse would just die from such a big wound but the spiny mouse regenerates all the tissues back um, but we don't understand yet the basis of this why do some animals form a scar and um, the spiny mouse for example does not uh, produce a scar the stem cells are actually crucial for the regeneration process so you can imagine them as building blocks of the new tissue so stem cells have the property to divide and make new cells and these cells then can differentiate in all these specialized tissue cell types and then form the new cells and that's why stem cells are very important in the regeneration process. One of my PhD students, Vanessa, she is working together with the lab of Hans Klevers here at the Institute and together they are trying to make skin organoids, so little structures, 3D structures made from adult stem cells from the spiny mouse that resemble as much as possible normal skin. And then these organoids can be used in in vitro experiments to study regeneration because they are small, they are transparent. We can really watch what's happening to these organoids when they form or also when we make uh, or cut a piece off, how do they respond? And um, that can be maybe a proxy of what's happening in vivo in the real animal. In the end, we want to find those molecules and mechanisms that promote regeneration in the spiny mouse and then use these mechanisms to try to promote regeneration in animals that do not regenerate like the mouse or eventually humans.